Hi, this is Lisa with DancyPantsFitness.com here at Anytime Fitness, South Long Beach, Texas. Let's talk about how to do push-ups without legs. When people say without legs, what they typically mean is not in the full standard push-up position. So I'm going to show you a few different variations. Let's start off on our knees. So doing a good push-up on your knees, my hands are underneath my shoulders, my rear end is down. The one main mistake I see people doing is this. I'll find them doing these. That is incorrect and you can do about 2,000 of them because you're not, um, you don't have your body weight over your hands. So you want your body weight over your hands. You're going to go down to the floor and back up. This is the proper way to do push-ups on your knees. You can also do it on one knee. So you can cross the feet or cross the knees, whatever is comfortable, and go down. It's going to make it a little bit more challenging and you would want to switch legs as well. Another option is to do a decline. So you would do this on your knees. Just a little bit of height. You can have as much height as you want, but start with something just a little bit off the floor if you've not done that before. On your knees, and again, you'll feel this is just a little bit more difficult than doing it completely on the floor. The last one I'll show you is on a ball. This is challenging because you've got some balance and coordination that you need to tap into at the same time. But it's fun and different. So just go out, try to have the ball right around the knee area. Now you can have your feet out like this, or you can pull them up. This is actually a little bit more difficult to pull them up because it distributes your weight differently. So as I go down, now I've got that decline push up, but I'm also having to use my core strength to keep this ball from going from one side to the other. <laughs> it's a little awkward coming off. And those are a few different ways to do push-ups without utilizing your legs.